Hey there, today we're going to be taking a look at two systems that you see all over Amazon. That being the Tricky Speed 5 and the Ace Magician Ryzen 5 5600U. Now, one system, of course, has the Ryzen 5 5500U and the other one has a Ryzen 5 5600U. Both of them are usually within 10 to $20 of each other. Now, immediately you would think, well, the system with the Ryzen 5 5600U is objectively going to be better because it is a newer generation but that is actually not 100 the case there are some key differences between these two specific systems that kind of make this a little bit more complicated of a situation now out of the box the trig key here comes with a tdp of 25 watts while the ace magician has a stock tdp of 15 watts now the ace magician does actually have a configurable tdp in the bio so you can set it all the way up to 25 watts and that is what I set it to for this comparison, but just know that out of the box, it actually does come with a TDP of 15 watts. Now, this is going to be important as we look at the performance numbers later down, but you'll see here that there are also some physical differences between the two two systems you'll see that the ace magician is pretty noticeably bigger than the trig key now this is a little misleading because you would think that because it's a bigger system it's going to have a better cooling system and in fact that is not the case this specific system actually gets noticeably hotter than the trig key even at a lower tdp and you'll see that at the same 25 watt tdp there is going to be some noticeable temperature differences between the two systems outside of that the plastic shell that we're seeing on the ace magician is of a noticeably lower quality than the one on the trig key i personally really like the construction of the trig key while the ace magician kind of leaves a little bit to be desired both systems seem to be very generic oem systems ace magician is really just a brand name both of them in general you can find these systems under different names you can see here that the trig key actually looks almost identical to b-link systems and i'm not 100 percent sure if trig key is just a sub brand of theirs or not now, some other key differences that I want to point out between these two systems is, of course, the fact that the back I.O. is really the biggest differential here. You'll see immediately that there are some distinct differences in I.O. More importantly, starting off, we have two different power connections. One uses USB-C, the other one just a regular DC connection. You'll also see that there are two Ethernet ports on the Ace Magician in comparison to the one on the Trig Key. And of course, we have two USBs in the back, but one of them is actually 3.0 on the Trig Key, while there are just 2.0 on the Ace Magician. Another thing is the display is out. The Trig Key has two HDMI, while the Ace Magician has an HDMI and a Display Port. Personally, I do like the inclusion of the Display Port, but I can understand if that's kind of a deal breaker for you. I know a lot of displays out there people tend to just use with HDMI and not necessarily with Display Port, but it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Overall, though, the ventilation on the ace magician does leave a little bit to be desired again it is a bigger system overall but the ventilation is really not that great in comparison to the trig key which actually has a solid ventilation system though still the fact that it does not have a top fan opening does limit the overall cooling in comparison to b-link systems in general in terms of overall cooling and overall design i do like the trig key noticeably more than the others but of course besides the actual construction of these systems we are going to be looking at the exact hardware in here besides the fact that one is rocking the 5500u and the other one is rocking the 5600u both of them came with a 512 gigabyte ssd and both of them come with 16 gigabytes of dual channel 3200 mega transfers ddr4 memory but we do have pretty much identical configurations besides the apus themselves and we're going to see what the performance difference is like between the two so to start off the comparison we are going to be jumping into some gaming tests and the first thing we're taking a look at is cyberpunk 2077 running on here and you can see that both systems are running at a 25 watt tdp but pay attention to those temperatures the ace magician system is really struggling to keep this at a reasonable temperature in comparison to the ryzen 5 5500u on the trig key now the quality on the 5500u recording is a little messed up right now that was just because of some obs settings that were messed up 
up but the numbers is really all that matters in this situation and as you can see here it actually gives a surprising result the ryzen 5 5500 you actually ends up giving us better performance in terms of the fps average though a slightly worse one percent low in general though both of them are really struggling to provide a good experience here and this is with the lowest in-game graphics settings and we are using fsr now that last title is a pretty heavy one so we're going to go back to a older but still tried and true title that is pretty heavy batman arkham knight and this is another one with the where the ryzen 5 5500u does manage to pull ahead just slightly in terms of the fps average and one percent lows but it does actually have the lead here and at this point you might be wondering well why is it that a previous generation apu is actually performing better than the 5600u well part of it has to do with the fact that we are reaching higher temperatures with the 5600u but really one of the key differences also is the fact that the 5600u really just has an updated cpu but the apu itself is actually pretty much identical so these higher temperatures along with the higher noise does provide a more inconsistent experience here and it just ends up leading to a lower result and that's why we're seeing a older generation chip perform as good or better in these two titles that we've seen so far again it's not a groundbreaking lead or anything like that but it is a lead and it is measurable and consistent so far and to really confirm the fact that it is the iGPU that is the biggest limiting factor here and it is what is actually leading to these higher results, I went back to a much older title with Bioshock Infinite. Here you see it running with the very high graphics preset in the built-in benchmark. And again, the Ryzen 5 5500U ends up giving us a higher result. And part of it has to do with the fact that we are using a the Ace Magician at an out of spec configuration it really wasn't meant to run at 25 watts you can certainly adjust to it and that's exactly what we did here but it does default to 15 watts in comparison to the 25 watts that the trig key was actually designed to run at and comes out with out of the box again a marginal lead here but considering the fact that we've so far seen it do consistently better it is an interesting result and of course with an older title like this the cpu does play a much smaller role so that's why we actually see such a gap the cpu really isn't doing much at all here this trend does finally end up changing when we try a much more cpu demanding title that being mountain blade 2 banner lord with the built-in benchmark you can see here that the ryzen 5 5600u is actually performing pretty noticeably better and the end result actually ends up giving it a pretty nice lead here and you'll see that the cpu is being used more here than in previous benchmarks and the igpu is still reaching its maximum clocks here so now the cpu difference is really the biggest differentiating factor here overall not a drastic lead but it does finally start to show that the 5600u does have some benefits here though again the temperatures do end up being higher this time around they're a lot closer to each other though because both the igpu and the cpu are doing a lot more work than what they normally do an interesting thing though is that the 5600u was consistently having a lower cpu load in percentage wise than the 5500u and both are running at the same identical settings now, another title that really showed a pretty significant lead for the 5600U is Rainbow Six Siege. Now, with the built-in benchmark, you can see that there was a pretty noticeable gap in the overall performance here. In both situations, the iGPU is reaching maximum clock speed and it is fully utilized. At this point, it really comes down to the CPU and the higher clock speeds of the 5600U really come in handy here and actually give us the biggest lead that we've seen for it so far. It is really the one result that was just drastically different in comparison to everything that we've seen where you actually see a pretty noticeable generational improvement though the temperatures that we're hitting here are getting into a situation that is pretty noticeably high and what this also ends up doing is it makes the system extremely loud but it does give us a pretty noticeable difference in performance but this gap in performance really does not consistently carry over as you can see here with the 
World War Z Aftermath built-in benchmark. Again, the Ryzen 5 5500U on the trig key ends up taking the lead. And what this also shows is that not all systems with chips are built the same. If you have a system like the trig key and you put in the Ryzen 5 5600U and you actually optimize and design it for it to run at the 25 watt TDP, more than likely we would be getting consistently a better or at least identical result. But since the Ace Magician is really designed to run at a lower TDP, boosting it past that really again raises the temperatures to some dangerous levels. And I decided to take a look at an older title again just to really emphasize the difference between the two in terms of their performance and of course the temperatures that we're reaching. And here we have the Tomb Raider reboot running on here with its very high graphics settings. And you can see that again the Ryzen 5 5500U ends up giving us a higher result. So the trig key is consistently giving us a better result with only certain outlier titles that are more demanding on the CPU really actually providing a lead for the Ace Magician. And with the Ace Magician, we're already hitting really high temperatures. We're now in the 90 degree temperature only for it to give us a worse result than the 5500U. And the last title that we're going to be taking a look at here is The Division 2, a game that I've recently started to pick up again and I have been playing. And you can see that throughout the benchmark, the 5500U is really giving us pretty much identical or better FPS. And while the 1% lows at the beginning are noticeably lower, by the end, the result actually ends up being in favor of the 5500U. And it's another situation where the Ace Magician is just reaching temperatures that are just not comfortable to use because of the fact that they are just dangerously high and the system is noticeably louder. And all of this, again, to provide us a worse experience. And of course, we are using the system out of spec since it just by default is set to a 15 watt TDP. But then again, we're getting even lower performance than what we're already getting there. So if we want to get temperatures that are similar to the trig key, we'd have to lower the TDP. And then at that point, we're affecting performance even more. So it becomes a pretty complicated situation here where even though on paper this is supposed to be a better system the trig key is just taking the lead here of course this isn't the whole story as you can see on the screen right now there is a pretty noticeable gap in terms of the CPU performance just because the 5600U is an improved CPU overall. But again, we are getting into higher temperatures and stuff like that if we actually set it to this TDP and we max out the CPU it's to the point where finishing Cinebench actually ended up reaching a temperature of up to 100 degrees Celsius on the Ace Magician. It really is just not designed to go to a higher TDP like this. And what the overall result here really means is that even though the Ace Magician on paper is a better system. And if you can utilize that CPU, you can actually get some pretty nice results. The trig key out of the box is just an overall better system. Personally, I like it more. Yes, the 5500U is older, but as you can see in the gaming results here for the vast majority of games, which are going to be GPU limited more than CPU limited, you're going to end up finding that it will perform better than this specific Ace Magician system with the Ryzen 550. 600U. Now there are other systems out there being sold under the Ace Magician brand that also have this CPU in there. I can't attest to their specific cooling and a lot of this really just comes down to the fact that just because a system has a specific chip does not necessarily mean that it's going to be using that chip to its fullest potential and it might just be holding things back. It's a really complicated market and at this price point there's a lot of competition from a lot of different companies out there. I can only tell you from the things that I've used that the trig key here is pretty much the best option between the two and they do compete with each other almost identically in terms of price usually a 10 to 20 dollar difference being the difference again you're going to see the ace magician and on paper it just looks like a better system but as you saw from the results they're just not the same there is a pretty noticeable gap consistently with the trig key performing better while having a higher out-of-the-box tdp and also giving you an overall better result 
result while having lower temperatures in comparison to raising the Ace Magician's TDP. And if we just ran the Ace Magician at its stock TDP, then the performance gap becomes even larger. So if you're looking for a system that you're trying to play games on and maybe even utilize the CPU, the Trig Key is just overall a better system. And recently, especially because of Prime Day deals and just the wide amount of competition in the market right now, for not that much more, you can get systems that come with the 5800H. And this Trig Key, if it's rocking the 5800H, which you can actually get, though personally I have not tried it out yet, so I can't give you the full recommendation for it, but if you want to try it out for not that much more money, a lot of the times usually even less than a hundred dollar difference. I think the lowest that I've seen in terms of price difference between the 5500U and the 5800H version was somewhere around 60 to 80 dollars. So that price difference, you pretty much get a better system overall. Though again, I can't attest to the temperatures that we end up reaching in that situation. I definitely need to try it out and hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. But as of right now, my recommendation is to just get the Trig Key instead of getting the Ace Magician. I know it seems counterintuitive to get an older APU, but as you saw with the numbers here, there is a pretty noticeable difference between the two. I hope you found this interesting and useful. If you did, please be sure to subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. And of course, I will be leaving a link down below to the specific Trig Key system that I got, as well as the 5800H version if you would like to try that out, because so far I'm really impressed with the build quality of the Trig Key. Again, I'm not sure if it's just a sub-brand of B-Link or they're just making these systems in the same factory. They seem to be very, very similar in terms of design. And so far, I've liked every B-Link system that I've gotten so far. So if Trig Key can keep that level of consistency, then they get a solid recommendation from me. So check it out down below.